What's up everybody, welcome back to today's video. My name is Jan Detters, also known as Typeful on Instagram. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this number five. It's an isometric number five, and it's being created with the isometric grid. I've done a video in the past where I created the isometric grid manually. I will link down to this video in, this, in the description. And in my last video, I've just downloaded somewhere on the internet. I also will include this download link into, this, into the description. For today's video, I'm going to use this downloaded, free downloaded uh, isometric grid. So yes, we are going to create this number five. First of all, I'm going to create the front part of the number five just with the pen tool click on the pen tool in the menu bar in the toolbar we are just going to drag it it's a pretty simple technique and the stuff you can create with it is quite awesome i think okay so we zigzag a little bit go a little bit up i think to this one maybe one higher okay yeah so now we are going to select the direct selection tool select those anchor points and we drag those in a little bit also for this one those are going to be totally rounded. Okay. So want so we want to drag the curve to the second box up here. And we can drag this down also to the second box. So we have an equal curve. Okay. Something like this. Drag this one down. And this one up. Drag this one in a little bit to make it more balanced. Select the top part and drag it a little bit down. Okay. Okay, so we have created the number five. Select it and drag it with holding option. To the back okay this looks quite good we want to make sure this is in the same line otherwise you can create the depth of the number five okay so go to the pen tool now and we are just going to connect the shapes Okay, for these we want to make sure we are on the line, otherwise we can't use the shape builder tool. For this one as well, on the line. Oh. Okay, like this. This one as well, connect them. And then again, connect this part with this one. Okay, zoom out a little bit, press on V, or select the selection tool in the, in the menu, in the toolbar. And now we want to select all the lines, press on Shift M, and now we are going to drag all the surfaces. Okay, so this is one surface. This is one, and this is one. Oh. As you can see, somewhere the lines aren't connected because I can't drag a shape out of it. I think it's this one down here. Zoom out, zoom in a little bit. We want to make sure this line 
is connected. It still doesn't work. So I think this one isn't connecting as well. And that's why it's important all the shapes or all the lines are connected. Otherwise, the shape builder tool won't work out well. I see something here as well. Press on Shift M again. And add these lines. Zoom out a little bit. Press on Shift M again. And connect these lines. Press on Command Y to go back to the normal view. Okay. So, this is the shape. This is the number 5. And now we are going to add some gradients to it. Click on the gradient panel, select the top part, click on the gradient. And we are now want to move the gradient a little bit. Press on shift with the top arrow, you add or when you press on the down arrow, you decrease, decrease the angle. Okay. Okay. Minus hundred and twenty looks good. Now this part. I think again minus hundred and twenty. Okay. Bring this one a little bit back. So you can see the light is coming from this side, the left top side. Okay, this one can be a dark color because there is, isn't any light over there. Just go to the swatches panel, click on window, and click on swatches. And we just want to give this a dark swatch color. I go for 90% black. Click on the last part. Click on the gradient again, the gradient slider. This one has a, a little bit of a white light on the top. So we want to make sure the white part is up. Just as a little bit. Okay, select the number five, click on the stroke color and click on this none button. <coughs> okay, I have added the guides into the first layer, so if I toggle it off, you can see the number five. And in this example, I have added a light gray color in the gradient at the end. So you have a nice visual of the shape. This one ends in white. So it blends in with the background. Okay. You can create awesome stuff with this uh, technique. So can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Hope you guys have learned something. If you did. Please drop a like, follow the channel and I'll see you in my next video. Peace!